on Ice Hockey UK TV in association with SMP Europe. GB play their final game at this year's World Championship here in Latvia in Group A. What a ride it's been so far. Four points for Great Britain. It's been a great ride so far. The boys have done absolutely fantastic. If I'm a betting man, that's Ben O'Connor. But anyway, let's find out what happened in this game. Let's find out with Paul Lady and Aaron Murphy. GB against Switzerland. Berchi trying to go out wide on Tetlow. Tetlow played that well. Here's Hammond. Here's a two-on-one developing. Hammond and Connolly. Connolly in all low. Connolly goes to the back and oh, he's robbed by Rito Berra. Well, that was a nice move from Connolly. He went to his backhand and he got it up too, but Berra makes an outstanding save here. Hammond does a good job. Looking like he's going to shoot. Slides across at the last minute. And a good move from Connolly here. And just that's even a better save from Berra. Andrew Ghetto with this shot. Redirected in front. Good play there by Vermeen, a couple of saves by Bounds, and finally Perlini will track it down and flip it out to the neutral zone. GB need to get fresh legs on the ice past the halfway mark of the first period. Scoreless and another flurry of saves by Bounds there, Paul. Yeah, he came up big, and you can see what Switzerland do well is when they take the puck down low into the offensive zone with speed, they then turn, and if, if everybody collapsed down, here comes a chance here, Mark. Corby back to Hoffman. Hoffman scores! Well, it was coming. They had tilted the ice a little bit. And Hoffman will rip it through. Ben Bounds, 1-0 Switzerland. He now holds the goal-scoring lead outright with six. Yeah, it was a good finish from him. A little bit of traffic in front. I don't know if Bounds sees all of this, but Hoffman's finish. I mean, you just can't give him time on the puck. He's proven in this tournament. He knows where the back of the net is. They finished eighth in 2019. Switzerland and Patrick Fisher talking before the game really wants to ramp up now for the knockout stages and They've come out flying. Here's Luffel Over to you Liam Kirk now second in the goal scoring chart He likes a challenge and now here he is right on cue Kirk intercepts the play Kirk. Oh my goodness Well, he answers right back 1-1 hockey game the magic the mystique of Liam Kirk continues to grow. That's his sixth unbelievable Oh, that's just a fantastic shot, Murphy. Took it so calmly, and even when he scored, I wasn't sure if it was in the back of the net, but he knew it was in. And this is a, a great job here. I mean, you can see Kirk puts pressure in the, in the neutral zone, is able to get the puck back, and then just quick shot, stick side, probably off the post there. But it's just good pressure from Great Britain in the neutral zone. That's just inside the dot, too. I mean, you would you would expect Barra would make this save, but it's just a perfect shot off the post and in. And, Andrew Ghetto up high for the left point, trying to push that through. Blocked by Jonathan Phillips. Meyer on the rebound, throws it up and over the crossbar. And Great Britain will get that line change. They're going to have to hurry, though, as Luffel is on the left side trying to take advantage of the line change. Luffel to Siegenthaler. D to D across. Shervey trying to go away from Connolly. Well, that's a bouncing shot. Rod was in front, but it's Luffel just bouncing it past. Bounds, plenty of traffic in front, 2-1 hockey game. Well, it also came from what Switzerland had been doing in this whole period. Is the third forward has been left high on the blue line, so it does create that extra passing lane high, and then you just shoot it at the net, hope for the best, and that's what happened on this play. And you can see there's lots of traffic, and Rod does a good job getting in front of the net, making it tough on Bounds. He's right in the middle. Bounds never sees that. Rod gets behind a defenseman, takes Bounds' eyes away. Sherva here makes a nice pass up to the point. Shot comes in. For Hammond, Lake kicks the puck along to Connolly. Connolly back to the point. Here's Kirk. Four forwards on the power play for Keith uh, Nielsen. Hammond to Kirk. Kirk has a power play goal in the competition. Here's Richardson. Richardson that came off a of beer chief, but Kirk collects the puck. Now Hammond. Hammond trying to go back post. Richardson with the shot. Here's Kirk. Kirk with the shot. Scores! Oh my goodness, that's another. He leads the tournament with seven. Power play goal, GB, 2-2 hockey game, and even Corey Nielsen has a smile on that one. Well, Liam Kirk, take a bow. Well, you don't see Corey Nielsen smile too much behind the bench, but uh, another goal from Kirk. 
And it's all about finding that open space, you know, when the shots come in, looking for rebounds. There's a nice play to Richardson who comes down. Kirk is just hanging out. That's an area on the power play when shots come in that the puck does come out a lot in that area. And Kirk, being a smart goal scorer, he just hangs out there, waits for a rebound, comes out onto his stick, and again, quick shot between the legs of Bear. And that's a big goal for GB and another big goal for Kirk, Murph. Right on a swivel looking for the pass, but it's a good looking penalty kill thus far. Luffle with the shot right off the shoulder of Bounds into the corner. He shared, collects it back to Corvey. Halfway mark of the second period now, 25 seconds remaining on the power play. Here's Alitalo. Alitalo with the shot, it bounces around. He shared, might have got the final touch. That's unlucky as it just bobbled around from skate to stick. A bouncing play and a 3 2 hockey game in favor of Switzerland as they. Get one back on the power play. Yeah, another unlucky bounce for Great Britain. The shot came in. I think it went off the pants of somebody or could have even been one of the GB defensemen. Let's have a good look here. Pass goes back. That's a nice play. Then the shot comes in here. There's deflection from Perlini. Then it hits Davy Phillips in the back of the leg and ends up in the back. Bounce has no chance. They've got a couple of good bounces in this one. But it's because they're putting pucks on net. You make your own luck. Here's Berchi with the redirect and Berchi scores. Well, Great Britain not ready for the restart, and Berchi makes them pay, tucks that under the bar, 4-2. Again, another big goal just after a goal, and, and this is big for Switzerland. It gives them momentum in this game, and uh, like we've talked about it before, you have to be ready when you come off the bench when the other team has just scored a goal, and uh, right here, right off the faceoff. Connolly to O'Connor, slides it through. Here's Hammond. Kirk, nice stick to Connolly. Connolly with a shot. Kirk looking for the bobbling puck. Vera handled that save by Connolly. But Kirk looking for that rebound. Here's Herzog. Kershaw. Kershaw backdoor play and he sure. I think he broke his stick on that play as he sent it wide. Nice passing play by Switzerland. Herzog with a shot in bounds. Will glove that down with 8.07 remaining. And again, Team Switzerland buzzing. Yeah, Kershaw and he sure giving. Uh, GB a lot of trouble. Look at that one-handed pass from Kirk into the slot area. Nice shot comes in from Connolly. I think there was even a, a bit of a deflection in front on that one, but GB aren't so lucky. And uh, Kirk give and go here. Right back to Kirk. Gets a nice shot away. That's a good save from Barra. But Kirk is having a great game. This is his best game of the tournament. I'm not just talking because he scored, but he's doing everything right. Fourth goal for Switzerland. There's Shervey. Shervey, a couple of Shifts in this period has looked like the best player, and they redirect it in. Rod and Berchi are in front, and right on cue, Berchi again. And a nice play by Shervey. Shervey has been immense in this second period, and GB are now down 5 2. Well, again, it's that net front presence from Switzerland. I mean, the game plan has get it to the points. GB are coming down low. Let's get it to the points, get some shots with traffic in front, and it has been working for them. Like you say, Shervey uses a bank pass there, and there's the deflection right in front from Berche. Bounds never sees it. They've done a good job taking Bounds' eyes away. They know he's a good goalie. Knocked down for Hook. Here comes Hook with a little bit of time and space. Hook, well, he doesn't get the backhand across. He had Lakovic in the flat. That was an excellent defensive play from Raymond Untersander. Here's Kurashev. Kurashev. Dehishir, well, up into the roof of the net. Dehishir will make it 6 2. How often do you see that? There was a chance down the other way. Hook can't complete the pass. They come roaring back the other way and make GB pay. Dehishir with a lovely goal. Yeah, I mean, it's a great shot. And what a play from Kurashev. These two have been good in this game. They've made a lot happen offensively for Switzerland. And you give this guy, Nico Dehishir, a, a lot of time on the puck to pick his spot, and he will put it in the back of that. And Niefler in the nets. Moser. Duggan. Duggan with a nice little play. Nice little shot on Niefler. Duggan stays with it. And how does that puck stay out? Well, it seemed to hit a couple of legs in front, but I like Duggan's attitude. Takes it to the net, gets a couple of whacks at it. And this is what you have to do if you want to score goals at this level. You have to be able to fight to get to the net. Drive in there looking for just hits the toe of the skate of Niefler. And uh, unfortunately for Duggan, he's not able to finish the playoff in the end. Even that one there goes off a few skates in front of the net. Hammond curls back, six and a half remaining in Great Britain's journey in Riga. Here's Kirk. Maybe the hat trick watch for Liam Kirk now. Here's Hammond. Hammond flips it across for Clements. Clements, too late to the party there. It was jabbed up the wall by Siegenthaler, but now 
Heesher tap dancing away from Hammond. Hammond won't give up. Poking at it there against Kurashev. Here's Kirk. Kirk, double team, but wins the puck. Kirk, down low. Kirk back out in front. Oh, they're stopping. Connolly tucks it home. They're on the board. Kirk will get a point. It's a 6-3 hockey game on Connolly's first of the World Championships. Yeah, a good all-around play for, for GB. Connolly finishing that, that one off. Good work, especially from Kirk there. Reading and reacting. Hammond also on this shift. Good hard work from GB. Just winning those battles along the wall and never giving up on the puck. Right there, Kirk grabs it, drives, drives through the middle, back, gets a shot in, Conley picks up the rebound. It's that give and go play. Three players working together, especially here where Kirk gets it low, keeps going, stick on the ice, quick shot, Conley picks up the rebound, gets good positioning in front of the net, beat, beats his man on that play. Loffler couldn't keep, couldn't keep him out of the net, and Conley buries it. Well, Liam, what a tournament. Let's start with you personally, and then I'm sure we'll go on to the team. But, but how do you feel? Seven goals at the moment, as we talk, you're the leading goal scorer. That's got to be pretty special. Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, you know, it's nice. But, uh, you know, for me, the, the main thing was I came in and played hard and played the right way. And uh, I just tried to compete as, as much as I could, uh, you know, uh, day in, day out. Um, you know, like I said, it would be nice to, to have some more results for the team. But I think this is, you know, we, we really played, you know, as hard as we could and the, some of the best hockey we have. So... And I gotta give credit to, to all the guys because you know it's not just me out there. How great has it been as a team just to match these teams, get the w regulation win in the overtime defeat? That must be pretty special. Yeah, for sure. It's um, like I said, it's the best we've done at this tournament so far. Uh, and you know, we came in with a mindset that we just wanted to compete for 60 minutes and and just play play with so much passion and pride like we always do. And I think we've done that. And uh, you know, I hope everyone watching back home is proud of us because I know that we got a, a group of 28, 30 in there that are you know, extremely proud of the way we performed. You just had a Zoom with the Great Britain Supporters Club, but it was so sad that them and all your supporters couldn't be there. But I guess that you were safe in the knowledge that they backed you from back home. That was clearly evident. For sure, you know, it, it, I think it does make a difference when they're out here. You know, they're so loud and, you, you know, you can't say enough good things about the GV Barmy Army. So, uh, you know, to see their support on social media has definitely been nice. And uh, to get that little Zoom at the end so we can thank them and... Uh, and they do their presentations for sure. It's definitely nice. And, you know, hopefully next year that they're out here with us. I know you've not really liked talking personally, but I just wonder, like, you know, everyone's been talking about you. We just noticed you've had the on-ice interview, interviews in the mix zone, gone upstairs. What's that been like with that kind of constant interview after interview? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, sometimes it can be tiring, but I think it's part of the job, right? So, uh, you know, you just, you just go do it and smile. And, you know, it's nice for the fans to hear, to hear his guys speak on, on stuff. So... I don't mind it too much. Adam, well, let's start with your overall feeling as a coaching staff of the tournament. How pride and how are your feelings about what you've seen over the past week or so? Yeah, yeah we're very happy with their effort throughout the whole tournament. Um, you know, we weren't quite sure what we uh, or how we would look coming into it with no exhibition games and, and no elite league season. Uh, you know, so the players coming in on sometimes 15 games played, uh, you know, it's, it's a heck of an effort that they've, put forth in this tournament and have done themselves the coaching staff and their country proud so uh, they can leave here with their heads held high and this game against Switzerland it just kind of followed it they, they never let them set them those, themselves get down they could have done at times when the Swiss took it to them but once again they just competed against one of the best teams in the world yeah that first period in general was great we thought so obviously we were in the game and uh, we were happy with that the second period it got away from us there and we made some mistakes and and they got some luck as well some lucky bounces and um you know we reset in between second and third period and and said you know let's go out and try and win a period and, and they did exactly that so certainly to us uh we're happy to leave on that high note there in the third with the third period and um you know take the results that we've gotten um and try and get better for next season. If you could put your finger on one thing that was the best thing that, that you did as a team throughout the tournament, what, what would that be? Well, when we set out, uh, you know, uh, Peter Russell, you know, one of his, uh, I guess, mantras of this tournament was never give up. And we, we feel that the players did that, uh, you know, despite some some tough nights, they, they didn't give up and they kept going for a full 60 minutes. And um, I think that as a result of that, you see some of the scores that were, were kept um, you know, to a, a reasonable amount there when we were really struggling there against uh, the Czechs and the, and the Swedes and, and Russia. And um, so because we're competing for full 60, 
um, and allowed us to stay in those. And, uh, you know, that's the mentality that we need always uh, going forward is, you know, never give up and, and stay in the game as long as possible. And um, if we do that, you know, we're going to find ourselves in, in a lot tighter games uh, going in the future. And just finally, how good has it set you up for 2022 in Finland? It's a massive tournament then because relegation will be on the line. A place in the quarterfinals, this team aims high. My point is, I guess, is how well has this tournament set you up for what might follow next year? Well, it's certainly given us a little, a little bit of a building block from, from last tournament. Uh, you see that with the regulation win and in the overtime loss, uh, you know, a little bit better. And then we'll be aiming for a little bit better next tournament.